Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Condor98 again, and today, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to be showing you my homemade crossbow. Look. It's a homemade one, and it's entirely made, made by me. Uh, my dad helped me a little bit just to glue this together, but not much else. And uh, I, have to, I like to give credit to my friend for inspiring me to build this, because when I went over to his house, he uh, was trying to build one, but his was a lost model. His name is Kevin Shea, and his channel name is Kevobud 6 millimeter And you should really watch some of his vid videos. They're really good. And uh, like I said, again, he inspired me to build one of these. So, Kevin, if you're listening, thank you very much for helping me build one of these. But, yes, this is it. So, watch his videos. They're very good. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about how I made it. So, you guys have been to Home Depot for sure. And you know those paint mixing sticks that you buy there? Or, I mean, you get for free? Well, you need three large ones. Oh, this is kind of instructional too. You need three of those largest ones that you can get. And you need two of the medium-sized ones. If not, if they don't have medium-sized ones, those are pretty common. Uh, they're small-sized ones, which they have to have for sure. You need three of those. Then, you take the first one, you crack it in half. As you can see, I didn't take very long on this, but yes, you crack it in half. Oh, actually, no, that's not the first step. The first step is gluing the three large ones together with glue. And when, while the glue is still wet, nailing them with finishing nails. See? You can see here and here. That way, when the glue dries, the nail will already be there. And it will harden around the nail, and it will be a very strong bond. Then I use, if you guys know what twisty balloons, what they are. Uh, they're these balloons you can blow up and make animals with them. Well, I took three of those, I wrapped them together, and I taped it right here with glue. And these work pretty good. I mean, they're pretty st stretchy, and um, see, you can knot them right, you can tie them right there, where, where that little groove is on each of the sides, if you could, if you guys can see. And uh, actually it took four, because they're not long enough, so I had to tie um, the two together in the middle to make this. But once you've done that, you are almost done. Then you need to hot glue a clothespin right here next to the grooves to hold the arrow in like this. You have to hot glue it and then um, I put the rubber band on there to hold it while it was hot gluing and then I accidentally hot glued it and it, I couldn't really take it off so I just left it there. So yeah, that's how you that's how you build it. And then how you fire it is, one second, this is kind of hard holding the camera too, but you take this and then you, one second. There we go. You put it right there. You lift up the clothespin and you insert it there. And then it's like this. And this one actually came out very good because if you guys can see, the the wood actually curves when the balloons are like that. So that gives it a lot more strength and power when it flies back to shoot the arrow farther. And look at if you can hear the sound. So it's pretty strong. Uh, if you guys know what skewers are, uh, you can use those as arrows. I, you put them, you put tape on the back side and the front side, so it's the same width as this right here. That way, it will fly smoother through the wood. At the front, you can hot glue a nail. Depend what you need the can f the the arrows for. I made three arrows. One, I made a hot glue a nail at the end. The other one, if you guys know what caps are, like those shooting gun caps. I made it so you can place those at the top so they're like explosive. And the other one was just a flat, like a hollow point. And the hollow point was mostly for practice till I got used to it. And then uh, that was it. But anyway, I lost all of them because these go really far and I shot them all on my roof. So I don't have any more now. So uh, I have to go. But anyway, this is very good. It's, it's pretty strong. You could probably kill a bird if you hit it right. I mean, it goes through two Pepsi cans. If you build it right, so I, I I recommend building this, but be very cautious when building it, and don't burn yourself, and make sure all the nails are in the right place. See like this, and I I take no responsibility for what happens when you build it, but again, be safe, and I recommend trying it. It's pretty fun, and if you build it right, it's powerful and fun to play with. Okay, see you. Bye bye.